You're back with Cybus TV. Now, for small and medium-sized businesses, access to financing and payment delays can prove crippling, if not fatal. But deployment of new technology and advanced platforms can overcome this challenge and break down these barriers to business. Yeah, that's right. The VFIN Group has been working with banks and regulators globally to help increase access to finance for SMEs across the globe, showing that the right technology can really make all the difference. We're joined now by Roger Debnat, uh, Chairman, Co-Founder and CEO of VFIN Group, and Parag Ekbote, Chief Business Officer at VFIN Group. Welcome to you both to Cybos TV. Hope you're enjoying your time in Beijing so far as much as we are. Uh, now, while we've been hearing about VFIN a lot in the last few months, of course, having said that, um, could you please set a stage quickly by telling our audience about the organization and, of course, what it does? Vifin started five years back as a supply chain finance company. We provide supply chain finance tech to banks, which are white labeled for them. So our mission was to be the global number one supply chain finance platform. And over the last two years, on the sales league table, we have been number one. So maximum number of supply chain finance deals globally. From a one company structure, we have now become a company where the group, we are eight companies. So from NBFC factoring licenses, to fraud and analytics, to account receivable, account payable automation, you name it, Gen AI, we are there in multiple such companies. We started a year back with 200 people, we are now 1,000 plus. Mm. We got us listed last year on the Indian stock market, and it's been a roller coaster ride since then. It's a roller coaster ride that got you here, and you know, we're paying attention really closely here because Prague, you. The, the VFIN really focuses on transforming transaction banking. Why do you think that the unified chassis of trade, cash, supply chain financing is such a game changer for the company? So I think uh, given the background that let's say I come from or whatever I've been seeing for the last 25 plus years in the industry, um, there are there are so many silos that banks have uh, in a way uh, laden with. Uh, they have a trade application, which is a different application, cash, and so on. And it, it kind of has a very broken experience for the customer name. That's the first, which is it's all over the customer. The second thing is because these are data silos all across the banks, it becomes very, very difficult for you to consolidate that data and give some insights out of the data to the clients. And therefore, a transformation uh, uh, initiators within banks take years uh, to take place. So the unified chassis actually uh, helps you consolidate all of this. So right from the customer experience, going down to uh, uh, data, uh, consolidating data, putting insights on top of it, and above all, in ensuring that you get a lot of efficiencies of scale uh, to service corporate customers. And that's the reason why unified chassis for trade, cash, and supply chain is such a big thing for corporate banks and transaction banks. So oh. It is about the unified chassis, as you said, and also working with the regulators. It's really crucial here. Talk to us about, Raja, if you could, the world's largest supply chain financing ecosystem that VFIN is building over in India, the PSB Exchange. I hope I yes. said that right. Yes. What do you hope will be its impact? So it's uh, amazing. So let me explain. The first time in the world, somebody's tried to do something like that. So what you're doing is basically taking hundreds of lenders on one side who instead of going to market and doing individual connections with the various marketplaces, the various fintechs, they do just one single connection with the PSB exchange platform. So one connection gets them access to hundreds of ecosystem players. And on the other side, those same ecosystem players with one connection get access to hundreds of lenders. That's what we're trying to create. And by doing that, what we believe will happen Currently, India's supply chain finance market is around $30 billion annually. That will go to $60 billion in the next four years. And a large chunk of this increase is going to come through the PSB exchange. Because mm. it's actually, our belief is that for every risk borrower, for every borrower in the market, there is some lender who's ready to buy that risk. So that discovery of finding the right borrower with matching with the right lender, that's what the platform will afford. And because of that, it's doubling of the market size. And Prague, let's talk about growth for a second. Uh, what are some of the other areas that VFIN are expanding 
into and how can they all tie into the group being this leading global working capital technology and finance platform? Sure. I think uh, I think one of the biggest differences that we are trying to make really is to break down all the silos that exist on both sides of uh, this equation. One being the bank, the other being the corporate. Because as, as Raja said, it's all about the working capital at the end of the day. And what we've seen is that there are silos existing uh, in the banks. So banks manage uh, liquidity for their corporates in different systems as we talked before. And so is the case with corporates because corporates again inherit uh, PRPs and multiple ERPs, treasury applications and so on. So these are silos. What we endeavor to do is really trying to bring these two worlds together, right? That's that's what uh, uh, is, is happening at RA. And therefore, whether it is a unified chassis for banks, mm -hmm. for trade, supply chain and cash, or uh, whether it is to do with uh, AR AP automation, which Raja spoke about on the corporate side, okay, or or for that matter, supply chain, a multi-lender platform where, uh, where corporates have the optionality to go and participate in different ecosystems as far as supply chain is concerned or ensuring that their supply chain gets financing. So that is what we are really trying to do. So we are trying to have technology play on both sides of the equation mm. and trying to get these two worlds to converge with each other. At the end of the day, it's all about ensuring that we make a working capital available to the corporates and to the supply chain partners. So that's essentially our goal. The goal at present day, if we were to look forward five years from now, what are your goals, strategies to get you there at VFIN, Raja? I think our goal, we were wanting to always be the number one supply chain finance platform. And having achieved close to doing that, we are now moving to working capital. So in the next five years, we see ourselves as being the number one working capital finance platform. And this will come through both organic and inorganic routes. So over the last three months, we has acquired three companies. Yeah. Over the next quarter, we have four companies lined up for acquisition. Yeah. So we see in the next 15 months, the VFIN group from currently being an eight company uh, platform, we'll have 20 companies. So that's so that is the kind of acquisition and that's the kind of growth path that we have charted for ourselves. The chassis grows ever bigger. <laughs> yes, that's yes. what we're seeing. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much to you both, Raja Debnath, Chairman, Co-Founder and CEO of VFIN Group, and of course, Parag Ekbote, Chief Business Officer at VFIN Group. Thank you to you both. Enjoy your time at Cyboss. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us.